didn't go their way. Um, but they need to take it to Kenya and set the tone because okay. they're looking Hang at this on. pool as one where they could get out of it, they could get into that quarterfinal. Kenya, seven points from safety on the overall standings. Fiji, fourth place. Carry Nathungu puts him on the floor, but a good opportunity here for Kenya to strike first here in pool C, and they will do. Time off. It is Herman Humwa. Doesn't oh, look yes, completely know, confident. They'll check this one. No, he doesn't look that excited then. It looked like he could have strolled in in the corner, chose to cut in, engage with the contact. Ben, when you and yeah, we'll the see screen, if he managed to get the, the put down under the pressure. Ben, you may award the yeah. try. Absolutely, the try there. He'd be a good poker player, wouldn't he? Herman Humwa, <laughs> try all day. Giving absolutely nothing away. Maybe appreciating the extra 20 seconds of rest you get when the TMO has a look at it. Uh, but Kenya striking first here, forcing the initial error. And then the Fijians just got too sucked in around the breakdown. And that left plenty of space out wide for Kenya. And an absolutely dream start. I mean, you know Fiji are going to come back. They're going to fight back. They're going to strike back. But better to have points on the board than not. So Kenya will be happy with that start. And now it's on how can they build up on this. From this kickoff, can they put Fiji under pressure again? Fiji on a 12-game win streak over Kenya. So, yeah, as you say, dream start for the Africans here. Conversion unsuccessful. They lead 5-0. Fiji still chasing a gold medal on the series this season. Round six, of course, we're in now. We don't often go that many tournaments without picking up the, the ultimate prize. There is the try scorer whom we're at scrum half. Damien McGrath was Taco. almost apoplectic last week when they missed out on the cup quarterfinals. A conversion in the final game ended up being the difference. There's an offload from Humwa, but it's just been spilt by Wakesa. Another opportunity goes begging there. That was a good chance. Yeah, just when it seemed to be opening up for Kenya, they did such a good job disrupting that kickoff, getting their hands on the ball and actually working their way into some space. But the offload doesn't quite go to hand. And when you're playing against these top teams, the likes of Fiji, moments like that can be the difference. You go 12 years since Fiji haven't won a, at least one cup trophy on the series. Of course, we plenty to go. We're off to Hong Kong and Singapore next. To lose in London. Hong Kong always seems to be the, to bring the best out of the Fijians, so I wouldn't count on that stat staying, but they'll be disappointed they haven't been able to so, so far. So far. They love it, don't they? Of course, they lost to Australia. There's an offload to Nathungu. Isaiah Nathungu, he's got my Samoa with him. Dinks it over the top, and then they just spill the ball. Rasaku had a clear run in there. Opportunity now for Kenya to try and catch Fiji in transition. Here's Humwa again. Big dummy from the big man over the 10 meter line. Ball's gone forward. Chance now for Fiji to catch Kenya unawares. Double step from Mathungu. That's been dropped this time by Mbatirenga. Offload though, they will get the try. Kenya just running out of numbers. Nelson Oyu coming around, but Fiji respond here. It wasn't pretty, but they get the five-pointer eventually. Fiji striking back. Yeah, it wasn't pretty. A couple more balls going down. Offloads not quite sticking in a way that they usually do for Fiji. Nathungu straightening up here, throws the pass over the top. But yeah, the Fijians not looking quite as crisp in this early going as you often see them do. Uh, often see them but I'm sure they'll come around. And sometimes all it takes is that one pass going to hand, getting that one try, the confidence does come back. And Kenya have had their opportunities here. Fiji have been giving them chances to get momentum, to get their hands on the ball, but turning it over against Fiji, they make you pay almost every single time, so cannot afford to do that. Jose Mbatarerenga from the police club in Fiji. Just his fourth World Series event. Well, the youngster newcomer in this team. Here he is now with the ball in possession again. Alvin Otieno is onto him. Being ripped away. Uh, Karen Avalu sets off on the contact. Dangunu's with him. Batarelling is there as well. And yeah, well done. That was a maul. Alvin Otieno just roars. 
with approval there. That's a steal back for Kenya. Kenya doing well in defense. We can see there Kenya having the bulk of the possession so far. Fiji making more tackles. Referee had judged there that the second Fijian player had engaged with the contact point and then disengaged. That makes it a ball. So when it goes down to ground, Kenya do not have to release. It gets trapped in there. It's now Kenya's ball and they'll have the opportunity to get back on the attack. Mistake from the kickoff there. Kenya not set up and that allowed Fiji to maintain possession. Well, Kesa rounds it into contact. Good carry, good yards made. Otsieno. Humwa. Good quick ball on the reload, and Alvin Otieno has seen some space down the short side. He flings it inside to OU, and he wears one big time over the sideline. The tackle coming in from the knock on the touch an option scrum or line. Scrum? Kenya always involved in some, some big contacts. Yeah, the tackle creeping up. But judge to be okay. Al Otieno, I think spotting there was some space on the blind side, but I think Fiji only too happy for, happy for him to go there. They know there's not much ground, and the likelihood of an error going to touch is quite high. So a little bit of naivety perhaps there from Otieno does cause the turnover. But again, another opportunity spurned for Kenya, and you cannot afford to do that against Fiji. Rosaku with the rib tickler on OU. Here's my Samoa, leads the. Seventh World Series for assists this season. Here he is with the ball in possession once more. Two-point ball game here, just over a minute to go here in Pool C. Kenya really standing up early in their opening game here at the Vancouver Sevens. A little dish ball back to Zangunu. Here's Urasaku, no relation to Kameli Urasaku, who was incredible on the series last year. Won himself a big money top 14 contract in France off the back of it. Mathungu stepping away from the... The tackler again. Tangunu again picks up. My Samoa, long pass over to the far side. 30 seconds to go here. Playing in their own half, but as we know, Fiji, so dangerous. One offload can make all the Off difference. It. Otieno was working hard for Kenya. Decision doesn't go his way. Oh, yeah, he's right there. I think just over eager. Gets, the, gets his body balance wrong, goes onto his hands and... Kenya have had two or three guys there who I think could have stolen the ball before the Fijian supporting okay, player got there. It's yeah. always the danger of running a dummy switch on the outside is if you don't give it, you're running away from all your supporting players with no one coming towards you. But Kenya don't make Fiji pay. Okay, well, there's the siren for half time. So this is the final play. There's a lovely ball to Nathungu and Dangunu now. Ball's loose on the floor. Almost a turnover for OU. Kenya one of the call. It's still ball though for Fiji and my Samoa season opening offloads the ball. One more pass. And there's Fiji doing Fiji things. They do have their second try. It is Nasa and Kananavalu who goes over. Yeah, both teams with lots of handling errors in this half. It is, Kenya, I think, didn't think that was a ruck, so they were all standing offside, and that opens up opportunities for Fiji because the defense highly disorganized, lots of different layers in the defense, and that makes it really difficult to stay as a coordinated line. And if your line is unconnected, the last team you want to do that against is Fiji because they make you pay with their deadly running and offloading. Yeah, how good was that half, though? Real close between Kenya and Fiji. Plenty to be worked out in this one, but Fiji have the... Yeah, jealous of those kids. They wouldn't have let you do that at Wellington College, Madison. <laughs> no, I mean, we'd have been playing, but maybe, but um, yeah, didn't get the day off to go to do the sevens. So Fiji, 12 5 leading Kenya. Good start from the African side. They've had a, an illness in camp this week, so I've been struggling a bit. I haven't been able to do a full training with a full squad, but Damien McGrath, the head coach, has really got them ready for this opener here against one of the favourites, the 
2018 Vancouver champions, Fiji. Switch of play from Hummel, the try scorer. There's El Tieno, he's been all action, the big Buffalo. Look at him go. Thundering into Fiji territory. Penalty. Humwa will take it quickly. It's still on. One more pass might do it. The pass doesn't find the money, though, and My Samoa not comes back, but he wasn't back 10. So Kenya no, will get another ten. shot. Kenya do get another shot, but it's little moments like that, and they've had a few of those. They had a few of those in those first half. And again here, Strum. one pass. It's almost Strum. a two-on-one. I don't know if he doesn't know his man's on the inside there. Delays it slightly too long. And Kenya do lose the opportunity. That was a big collision there. Just Kenya doing a good job here, being direct. And when they're direct, they get their physical ball carriers flying onto the ball. That's when they put the other team under under um, pressure. And that's what they've been doing at times in this game, but then forcing that last pass. And still got another chance here. As you can see the stat, they struggle to get into opposition red zones this season. But here they are with a guilt-edged opportunity. That's a really good carry from Odiamba. And here they go again through Alvin Otieno. Look at him go, the Buffalo. Just says, get out of my way. Try yes or no, please. But he reckons he's got it. They'll check yeah. it. Yeah, I think he did too. The only question, I think, is whether his whether he touched the ball down just before the line. But look to me, oh, that's not sure that's going to be the angle. Ben, you may award the try. Thank you. Oh, he's back. Big Alvin. What a score. I mean, there's no man like him for getting you on the front foot. He just he just initiates contact in a way few other players do. He gets going forward, puts the other team under pressure. He had one really memorable collision last week against the Warrior from Canada. But he just flies in, bounces off people, and gets you going forward. And as a teammate, you absolutely love that. You love those players. We always had that as in Danny Barrett. He gets you moving forward, and he makes it really easy for the rest of the team to fly onto the ball. You Use their footwork, use their skills. Yes, he disappeared for the team, from in. the team for a while. He played a bit of Time Super off, Sevens in France in their professional club sevens competition there. Here he is trying to get the troops the time wrapped here, up again. We are level with the successful conversion. 12 ball, Fiji, Kenya. In pool C, what a cracking game to okay. get the men's on. competition underway here. Mondi's going to send it high. They're on the chase. Now Samoa goes high for Fiji, but that's gone forward into Kenyan hands. OU, the captain, has it. Dangerous side entry, perhaps, there from Fiji, but referee says play on. Kenya with the ball. That's what they need. They can't afford to give up easy possession to this incredibly dangerous Fijian side. Humwa double tackled by Masamo and Vakaruma Billy's off the bench, but here come Kenya again. OU, they've got another opportunity here. The captain lays it back nicely. What a yumbo off the full the goal, but there's the decision that goes against them. Ben Breakspear, what did he see there? Yeah, so he's just seen the Kenyan sporting player, I think it might have been OU, just going in and going onto his hands. So looked to me like it was a pretty big collision there, but you've got to support your own body weight. You can't prevent the, the contest from being made, which the referee judging that happened there. And it's unfortunate for Kenya. They've had those little accuracies at key moments. So we see how oh, OU is actually the ball carrier. Oh, and we see there after the contact, he just slips on his hand. You often see people get away with that. I think it's usually before the contact that the judgment gets made. But referee judging there, he's infracted. That's a little bit harsh. But for Kenya, it's a big moment. They had the ball going towards the Fijian 22. And now you're kind of on the back foot. Three minutes left. They feel like we've seen this movie before where Kenya, they've had their chances. They've had a couple knock-ons in key moments. They had that breakdown penalty. And you can only give Fiji so many chances with the ball. Okay, guess he's out there. The only man to ever win two Olympic gold medals in rugby sevens. Jerry Tuwai. What a handy player to bring on. Here he is throwing the line out. A great man. Can he be the difference? 12 each. And 12 straight wins for Fiji over Kenya on the Sevens World Series. Here's my Samoa. Heavy contact coming here on Longa Nemasi, one of the new players. Ben Gollings is very excited about this young man. Got his knees to the floor, so the tackler's had to 
let go. Referee did tell them. Here is Jerry Tuwai in midfield. Using a bit of width here now. Oh, Fiji. There's a good carry from Matana. Tuwai. Taps and goes. Vakarun Ambili also picked up gold alongside him in Tokyo last year. He flings it back to Nathungu, another man who had that gold medal around his neck in Japan. Here he is again on the cut here. It's My Samoa, and there is another assist for Mamweli My Samoa from the beneficiary for his second score. Jose Batirerenga extends Fiji's advantage. Fiji do make Kenya pay for the mistakes. Couple missed tackles starting to creep in. And that's something you really can't afford against Fiji because it means your defense just starts to get pulled out of shape. We would always emphasize, if you keep your defensive integrity against Fiji, it limits their opportunities to throw these offloads because you've got a lot of people around the ball carrier. When you start missing tackles, it opens up those gaps, it opens up the opportunities for players like Manuel Ibn Mace, Samoa, to use their footwork, get you off balance, and that offloading goes to a player flying onto the ball in space rather than a man being covered by another tackler. Yeah, he is the ultimate provider, Manuele Maisamoa. There he is, leads the league in, in assists this season. He's picking up Dream Team selections more often than not as well. He has been a wonderful addition to this side. He just has an ability to release his teammates into space like no one else in sevens right now. Nothing good. But 19-12. Oh, what a take it is! Matana off the restarts. Oh, that set piece perfection from Fiji. Just when you think you're in the game, just when you think you've got some hope, they hit your bang bang and they stretch it clear. Two quick tries for Fiji. It's a great kick by Nathungo, just putting it in that kind of corridor of uncertainty, a difficult area. Kenya don't deal with it. Fiji in for the try, and for Kenya, they're going to look back on some of those opportunities, some of those offloads that didn't go to hand, the one penalty at the at the ruck, and but for a couple moments, they could have had a shot here, have let it slip, and you got to wonder if in the last couple minutes of this game, the effects of kind of that illness creeping around camp might have, might have had an impact, but they had their chances, they didn't take them, Fiji made them pay, for Fiji, Hasn't been as clean, as crisp as they'll have wanted, but they've got the win, and that's the key part in these early games. And now they'll have the chance in the next games to kind of build upon this one and try and get to a, a level that they, they know they're capable of. Yeah, restart's so important. We talk about it a lot. And they've got the ball back again from the restart here. There is Longina Masi. He's been held up this time. Can't get his knees to the floor now. Now, here we go. We've got a bit of a... Standoff here, he gets onto the deck eventually. Penalty Fiji, so Kenya did half of it right and gave away the, the decision. Too white. Oh, nice ball from Jerry Too White to Matana. And he's got another one just to finish it off for Fiji. They've weathered the storm here against Kenya. They finish the stronger. That's his second of the game. And the blue flag brigade I mean, are enjoying it. Position. I'll take yeah, a look, mark of the top teams, the even when they're not playing that well, they find a way to get the win. And Jerry Tai too, I just so good there. The little freeze with the footwork has all the attention of the Kenyan defenders. It means when he releases the pass, Matana's in space and just shrugging off the tackle. And, and there's a big man trying to tackle him, but he just shrugs him off, goes in in the corner. And for Fiji, they end up with quite a comfortable 31-12 lead that doesn't tell the full story of kind of a couple moments, turning points in this game that could have seen it go the other way. Yeah, they drew level 